Hi everyone, it's Margarita from DrRegisteredNurse.com. Today I'm gonna to bring you another way of decontaminating your N95 mask. The best practice is to use a new N95 mask every time you place one. However, due to the emergency situation that COVID-19 has placed, there is a lack of masks available for you to purchase. Therefore, we're trying to find the best options for you to be able to reuse it, but do it in a way that it is clean. Evidence-based practice has shown that using heat as a source of decontamination has helped remove the coronavirus spores from the masks, as opposed to other ways which can cause the filter of the N95 mask to deteriorate. I'm gonna show you how to use your stove, and the oven in your home, because everyone has one, in order to decontaminate your masks. I also did a video that shows you another way using the Lysol spray as well as a container in order to place the mask. So make sure you watch that one as well. We're going to preheat the oven to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the oven is preheated, we're going to wait a few minutes in order for the temperature to stabilize inside the oven. And at that time, we will place the N95 mask in the oven for approximately 30 minutes. So now that the oven has preheated to 160 degrees Fahrenheit, I will put the timer to 30 minutes. Now remember, you can use any oven. It could be an electric oven, a fancy oven, a non-fancy oven, it doesn't matter. It's gonna do the same function as long as it is up to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. At this time, I'm gonna place the N95 mask in the oven for inactivation of the coronavirus. and it will stay there for 30 minutes. Another way that you can reuse your mask that has been shown to be effective is if you have seven N95 masks, if you're one of those lucky ones that have multiple masks at home, you can start a rotating cycle where day one you wear one mask, day two you wear the second mask, all the way through the seven days. You may ask yourself, why do this rotating cycle of a seven day period? Just as a side note, the coronavirus will stay active on a surface like cardboard for approximately 24 hours hours, which is one day, it will stay on metal for about 48 hours, which is two days, and it will stay on plastic for 72 hours. So following this rotating schedule of seven day period, if you do have seven masks, will allow the virus to inactivate by the time you get to the last mask. Some methods that are currently being used to decontaminate masks are rubbing alcohol, using soapy water, as well as bleach. However, data has shown that these methods compromise the efficiency of the N95 filter that is included in your N95 mask. So now the oven has stopped and 30 minutes have elapsed. So the mask is ready. So now we're gonna take the mask out being careful and as you can see the mask is intact the straps are functional the mask is not broken or burnt is exactly the way that we placed it in the oven the only difference is that now the mask is decontaminated and by using heat we were able to inactivate the virus corona and this is ready to be reused Remember, you need to preheat your oven to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Once your oven is preheated, you're gonna set the timer to 30 minutes. You're going to place your N95 mask inside the oven. Once the 30 minutes have elapsed, your mask is decontaminated and all those coronavirus spores have been inactivated and you are able to reuse your mask. 
Well, I hope that this video was of great use to you. Make sure that you look at our previous videos in this channel, Dr. Registered Nurse. Leave your comments below and make sure to subscribe. Hit that bell that's in the corner. Like the video and share with all of your friends and family. Thank you very much for your time and have a great rest of your day. Bye.